Hi, my name is Brandon and I'm an alcoholic and addict in recovery. Today I'm continuing to talk about early recovery and some of the key components to making it through early recovery successfully. And one of the key components that everybody starts to learn if you're getting into recovery via 12-step programs, and a lot of times even if you're not, is the slogan, one day at a time. Now, this is the kind of thing that I heard when I first got into treatment. I heard a lot of people saying, you got to just live one day at a time. You got to not worry about tomorrow. And I thought those people were crazy. Uh, I thought those people were completely out of touch with reality, and it just gave me more evidence that AA didn't make any sense. But as I progressed in recovery, this has become one of the most important concepts for me to live by, not just in an aspect of staying sober, but in the aspect of actually living life to its fullest. One day at a time is a concept that shouldn't just be important to people who are trying to stay sober, but to people who are trying to maximize the way that they live life on a day-to-day -day basis. So I want to read first a little bit about what Tommy Rosen says about One Day at a Time in Recovery 2.0. He says, the popular 12-step slogan, One Day at a Time, is more than a slogan. It's an important nugget of spiritual wisdom that is in and of itself a road back from hell. It can be the cornerstone of a life well lived. At first glance, one understands the necessity of living one day at a time and its particular relevance for people in recovery. In early recovery, we just need to get through each day sober without using our drug or addictive behavior of choice. Our main job is to go to bed at night without having used. Everything else that happens during the day just happens, but the main focus is to go to bed sober. Because addiction creates a large amount of unmanageability, we have to train ourselves to take life in manageable chunks. The thinking that goes along with this addiction is pretty twisted, as we have seen. Living one day at a time is how we begin to change our thinking for the better. So when I got into treatment and I started hearing people talk about living one day at a time is completely alien notion to me because I always lived thinking about the future or the past. And as my life had gone on, I really focused more on the future and worry about the future or planning for the future, or rehearsing for the future. I did a lot of rehearsing um, conversations with people, and here's what I'm going to say if so-and-so confronts me about this, and all that kind of stuff. And I spent a lot of time in anxiety about the future. And this state of mind was something that I could not get my head wrapped around. People would try to talk to me and say, why are you so worried about something that hasn't happened yet? And I couldn't understand why they wouldn't worry about things that hadn't happened yet. It, it was like we were living in two different worlds. And so Tommy calls this borrowing trouble from the future. And one of the ways that I was borrowing trouble from the future when I was in treatment was that from the first day that I got into treatment, and I, I went into treatment with the understanding that I would be there for a month. In residential treatment, I would be away from work. People at work had no idea where I was. Um, I would be, for most of the time, away from my family, and I would be just focused on what I needed to do to make it through treatment. And yet, I could not let go of these feelings of anxiety around what it was going to be like to go back to work once I finally did go back to work. And it, it these feelings gave me an incredible sense of dread, of nerves. I would wake up in the morning just so tense and aggravated because I, I couldn't imagine what things were going to be like in 28 days when I had to go back to work. And I was talking to the uh, therapist that I was working with while I was in treatment 
And at one point she said, why are you worried about this? Um, this is not happening today. And that was such an alien concept to me. It's the kind of thing people had talked to me about a lot in the past. But it was the first time I really thought about why am I worried about this if it's not happening today? And she said, you should give yourself permission to just focus on today. And I, I had never thought about giving myself permission to do that either. I, I always felt somehow obligated to worry about the future. At that point, I started to draw some distinction between planning for the future and worrying about the future. And my counselor helped me do that. She said, let's start to, to work on some of the fears you have about going back to work. Let's start to work on those. But your job is to do that work in planning for going back to work. You should not be worrying about it. And all of a sudden, it was like a, an epiphany. I realized that there's a big difference between planning for the future and worrying about the future. And I did, I, I really did a lot of worrying, but I didn't take much action. And the action I did take was useless action. I would rehearse conversations that then never happened because I was either scared to bring up what I had planned on bringing up or they just never happened as a natural course of things. So when I realized that I was spending so much of my time worrying about the future, all of a sudden I got a pass to live more in the present. And if I saw something coming up in the future that concerned me, I got to step back and say, okay, instead of worrying about this, what can I do right now about it? If I can't do anything right now about it, then I can just let it go. And there was freedom, was the ability to start letting go of concerns and worries that I had about the future. And once I started doing that and taking the action I could in the present moment, then all of a sudden, some of the fears, some of the dread, and the anxiety lifted. And that's when I started to really experience healing that comes with living life one day at a time. Of course, there's another big reason to live in the moment. And that is that the moment, this present moment, is all we have. That's the only thing that's guaranteed, is this present moment. Uh, the next second is not guaranteed. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. There is no reason that I sh had to believe that I would be going back to work at the end of treatment. I mean, I, I might have died a thousand different times in a thousand different ways between the time I got into treatment and the time that I was supposed to go back to work. And um, so we we have to be constantly aware of, of our fragility as human beings and understand that today, this hour, this second, that's all we have any guarantee of. So it doesn't make much sense to worry about the future. It doesn't make much sense to dwell on the past. It only makes sense for us to live one day at a time, one hour at a time, one second at a time. Way easier said than done. This is something I got to practice on a day-to-day -day basis and, and an hour-to-hour -hour basis. Learning to live one day at a time is something that, for me, it has not come natural. But as I continue to work at it, I can feel the rewards as they come into my life. Anxiety, depression, these things that used to plague me start to lift and start to feel less heavy. And in general, life feels less heavy. I used to feel like life was a burden that I was dragging around with me and that it, and it was pulling me under the waves. And I don't feel like that anymore. Now I feel like life is a hot air balloon that's lifting me up. And as long as I let go and just let it do its thing, I, I just keep going up. But the only way for me to do that is to live life one day at a time. 
So this is more one day at a time becomes more than just a slogan that helps you deal with cravings and helps you deal with the rough days that are natural in our early recovery, but really becomes a way of life once you move to the point where you're not thinking as much about drugs and alcohol, but you're still faced with all of the challenges and all of the obstacles that everybody faces in their lives. And it has become one of the most important aspects of my recovery. And I love one day at a time. It, it, it really does encapsulate some of the values and some of the things that I think are most important about not only approaching life in recovery, but approaching it in general. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more. Have a good one.